We are here with Eric Heck, who is the chef and co-owner of the Flying Pig Restaurant. Two locations, one in Yaletown, one in Gastown. Yep. Very fun place to go for a bite to eat. Love to go in there and say, Eric, just give me whatever. <laughs> you have never let me down. Well, thank you very much. We try to do our best. Great to go in with friends and have a good time. You're opening a new location coming next year? Yep, right across the street, actually, at the residence at, uh, at West. It's a, a great neighborhood spot. We're really, really excited to come down and uh, become part of the neighborhood down here in Falls Creek. I think we need a beat tea staff table. <laughs> That's Done. what I think we need to do. Done. You are making bison, bison chanterelle. Yep. Stroganoff. Stroganoff. Let's get cooking. Exactly. All righty. So we get that on the heat there for you. Uh, you're actually going to be doing the cooking from what okay. I hear. That's what, uh, that's what I've been told. I will do whatever you say, chef. Awesome. There we go. I love it. Hold this. That was for you. Thank you. Excellent. We're just going to give it a couple seconds here. Hot pan, very important. Exactly. On and yourself. a wooden spoon. You never want to use metal on metal because it changes the flavor. Really? Yeah. I did not know it changed and the I flavor. Was, and I was inspired by you, actually. What were you cooking last night? I was cooking a little bit of uh, comfort food. We just did a, a general stew last Excellent. night. Flying pig style. Flying pig style. Well, uh, you we know, go. you don't crowd the meat. <laughs> Julia Child, don't crowd the meat. Exactly. So we start, what, with a little... Uh, a little bit of olive oil, oil, but we've got a nice pot of pan. First off, we need to season the meat. Season it, okay. Exactly. We've got some salt, we've got some pepper. Salt from up high. Exactly. Look at you. Pepper from up high. Unbelievable. Well, you know. Awesome. I learned from people like you, Eric. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Chanterelle mushrooms. Uh I yeah. heard rumor that you could actually find these locally. If yeah, you can. Those, these are actually local. I'd like to say that I, I, I found them myself. That I was doing the foraging, but however, so um, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't do that. Um, alrighty. So we're going to put about half of that in there. Okay. We've got. Uh, we're getting our hands dirty here. That's right. You, seriously, you don't crowd the meat, right? Exactly. No, 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 no. You crowd the meat. You don't get a good sear on it. All the juices sort of leach out. You really, really sort of. Uh, it's not a lot of fun. Oh, there we go. I'm going to turn that down just a touch. Yeah. If people find this sort of cooking daunting, what are some of the tips? Like, because stew isn't just throw it all in a pot and let it boil. No, no, not at all. You know what? It's, it's not. I always say it's daunting until you try it. Okay. You know what I mean? So that the, the, the hardest part is taking the first step in terms of cooking. And what are we looking for here in terms? Well, right now, we want the sear. So a nice good brown on that. Don't want to sit and stir it. No, not at all. But you know what? I think we're getting a good brown, so Ready? you can get right in there. Exactly. Perfect. Woo! Bring it on. Mm -hmm. There we go. Awesome. And you know the mushrooms, simple as that. What else nice am I adding to this pan? mushrooms. So we're going to cook it out a little bit. You don't want to add the, the garlic too quick. Okay. You really want to, uh, you want to allow the, uh, everything to cook a little bit here. However, we are going to add a little bit of onions in there. Onions, brown. mushrooms. Now, if you don't have the chanterelle, if you don't have the bison, you can go you, stewing beef and button percent. mushrooms. You can really, you can yeah. really mess around with this. You know, the stroganoff is sort of it started in in Russia, but every nationality has sort of has made it their own. You know, every 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 single kid woke up or had dinner with their family with Campbell's and some and, you kind know, of the stew. Old that's right. One hundred percent. So you can serve it with rice. You can serve it with noodles. You can serve it with something that Eric has with a flying pig that is unbelievable. You will all love Brussels sprouts. I know. You don't believe it? You go to the Flying Pig, you eat the Brussels sprouts, you will understand. Actually, let's send some people to the Flying Pig. You can enter right now. Contest at btvancouver.ca. And uh, what's the subject line? It is the Flying Pig. Go figure. <laughs> we are going to continue making this uh, bison and chanterelle stroganoff, and we'll have a little sample. I'll take it over to Riaz, too. It's his birthday. Oh, beautiful. All right. Happy so birthday, Riaz. Oh, here we go. Little wine. Little wine makes everything better. Don't be afraid of the wine. Don't be afraid of the butter, some garlic, some onion, totally. some cornichon. Exactly. Season it up. I'll show you the finished product after. Let's just check in with Don right now in the live eye. 